Ahoy, this is Denka. Another tutorial is here today. Today we're gonna look at how we can shoot a cinematic B-roll of this beautiful place. We're gonna look at some bad shots, we're gonna look at some great shots, how we can improve them. And at the same time, we're gonna be looking at this newly released gimbal upgraded version, Hohem iSteady Mobile Plus. And the location? Ontario, Canada. And for the new faces, welcome. My name is Zden Karawa. This channel is all about photography and video, creative camera challenges, tutorials, hidden giveaways, and vlogs. If that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Hohem has a brand new app out, which is called Hohem Joy. And what I can see, I can film either in 4K and 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. In today's video, I'm gonna be filming in 60 frames per second. So I have the option to slow down the footage in a post. Right now, the sun is setting down. It's 5.30 in the afternoon. So I am taking advantage of shooting anywhere I can against the sun. If I'm shooting kind of with the sun in my back, I get the flight look, but against the sun, especially on your smartphones, it always looks way better. So for this one, I'm going to use lock mode. I am going to frame the shot and move to the starting position. From whichever position I'm going to come, it's always going to end up on the frame I locked. Let's add a bit of my movement. Let's do a little bit of a combination shot. Pan follow mode it is. I'm gonna hide behind the bush. Gonna go through the bush, forward and to the side. This move will add movement and make the reveal more interesting instead of just panning or tilting shots standing on one spot. Another way of revealing a location is to use the foreground like a tree. It will look more professional and you are not going to end up with just a simple moving snapshot. Twist and turn. This gimbal has one unique feature, which is 600 degrees auto inception mode. Just press three times the mode button to let the gimbal spin away. Unique shots like these are always very eye-catching. I'm showing all clips in real speed, but you will see a different result once it is edited and slowed down. This little triangle is an ideal spot for POV mode. POV mode helps to add extra movement. These rocks don't have the best color, so I will be changing the look quite a bit in the post with my new Let's Summer Outdoors set. For a lot of people, they will be happy with that one shot, they will move on, but I'm gonna stay for another shot. And this time, I'm still gonna go very low to the ground and capture just the waves coming in. So for that one, I'm gonna be using pan follow mode. I'm gonna go very low to the ground, standard lens. A lot of people would just stand here with sun in their back and just took shot of these flowers. Well, it looks flat and that's not it. So we'll go to the other side and film against the light to get little peaks of the light shining through. You will see a big difference. This was filmed just with a standard lens. Now, as we know, ultra wide angle lens is also a macro lens, but this texture is not fine enough and there are already some dead parts. So it's just not looking good filming with ultra wide angle lens. Standard is enough. Boring, boring, boring. Panning shot, very limited movement. Everything seems to be pushed far away because of the wrong lens selection. 
Unfortunately, ultra wide angle lens is not very flattering to show off this location. So let's switch to standard lens and do a proper reveal. Notice how I'm sideways, making a big curvy move on purpose, avoiding seeing the gimbal's shadow in a shot. Most of the people would just do that one shot all around and they would move on to another location, but how about the details? Let's switch it to the telephoto lens and let's try to find something interesting. This shot doesn't have very nice colors and will require lots of color grading to make the water less muddy. I'm about to show you the last shot and the final cinematic b-roll, but first, let's thank Hohem for making this video possible, for sponsoring today's video. I will tell you very quickly what has been upgraded on this newer version of Hohem iSteady Mobile Plus. Battery life has been increased before it was up to 12 hours. Now it is 13. New feature has been added and that will be moving the handle to the side, which will switch automatically between portrait and landscape mode, just like this. When it comes to buttons, before you had to single press, double press, triple press to get the different modes. Now it is only press one time to switch between them. If you triple press, you get to 600 degrees auto inception mode, as I was showing before. And if you press five times, you will enter auto calibration mode. Trigger has been also upgraded. Now when you press and hold, you're entering all locked mode. The previous version didn't have that. And lastly, a new app has been launched with this gimbal called Hohem Joy app. It has more shooting modes such as auto inception, dolly zoom, motion time-lapse, panoramic video, clone me, slow motion, and more video templates. For those interested, I'll link the product below the video in a video description. Where is the lake, huh? I started on the other side of the lake and I made it all the way here. Car is right there. I was expecting to see a little bit more of the lake, but no, it's fully grown. Wall. <laughs> Anyways, I do have enough of clips. Let's edit those clips together. Let's add some music, color grading, effects, and let's play the final B-roll. Thumbs up if you liked today's video and subscribe for more. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Ahoy.